Hello guys and welcome to the second video of Puppeteer Basics section. So far we have successfully created our first Puppeteer test, but the execution was so fast and we couldn't see what went inside the browser. Puppeteer gives us some great options which we can use in the launch method here. And one of them is headless, which we have already used. But the second one is slow-mo, which can slow down all actions inside the browser so we can see what's going on. So let's use it. Well, right uh, behind the headless false, let's do one more and that is a slow-mo. And now you can specify any number of milliseconds. So let's do for example 500. So this will slow down the test a lot. And now if we run the test again, you can see that it opened a browser. Now it opened the website. And now it checked that the H1 element exists. But unfortunately the test execution is being slowed because each of these commands takes a half a second delay before it's actually done. So Let's just reduce it to, for example, 50 for now. And also I want to show you how you can run the tests in headless. And to do it, just change the false to true. And now the puppeteer will launch the test, but it will not spin up the physical browser. So let's do it again. npm run test. And as you can see, the test passed. It was much faster because we reduced the slow-mo but you didn't see any browser physically. If you do it again, again, test passed, but no browser was launched. And this is the real power of Puppeteer because it allows you to run tests in headless mode and everything is so fast and smooth that its execution is much faster compared to Selenium or Cypress or even Test Cafe. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it headless to false so we can see what's going on inside the browser. And there is one more command which I want to discuss and that is DevTools because you can actually spin up the browser with the DevTools open. And to do it, let's add one more launch function and it's called DevTools. And if you set it to true and save, it will li nicely auto format it for us so it's more visible. And now if you run the test, but let me just give it a bigger slow motion, let's say one second for now. And let's run the test. You can actually see that it opened the browser and it also has by default the DevTools open and you can actually see everything what's going on. Now it's running the test and the test is successful. So let me clear it. And let me change it again, let's say to 10. And I'm gonna change DevTools to false because we don't need them for now. But just to see that you have the options to run it with DevTools open, we can leave it in the launch function. And of course there are some more options which you can use, but they are not that important for the basics of Puppeteer. So I think we can finish this video. You learned how to run tests in headless and headful how to slow down the tests and how to open or close the dev tools during your browser run. So yeah, congratulations and let's move on to the next video.